Good evening. Tonight is a Monday, April 24th, 2007. It is a little bit after 6.30, and we are here to conduct, our town manager is here to conduct a public hearing on the capital budget plan. Um, it is a six-year plan that he's going to be presenting, so at this time, we will turn it over to our town manager, Mr. San Angelo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, as citizens may know, our town charter uh, calls on uh, the town manager and the town council to have a public hearing on our six-year capital improvement plan. Uh, for anyone who is following along on TV, uh, the six-year capital improvement plan is on the town website and was posted according to the charter in a local newspaper. Uh, so if you do want to read it, it's on the front page of the website, uh, and it'll give you uh, the whole document. Uh, while this document that we're going to be looking at tonight is a six-year plan, uh, it's the first year that's the most important, because that the first year is the uh, plan that is really going to be developed this year in our budget process, and I think it's going to be of the most interest to people. Uh, and it's the intention uh, through the, to my, the town manager, myself, and, and others that uh, the capital plan is going to be funded uh, with excess free cash that we've had at the end of the last fiscal year. To talk a little bit about the document itself, and you're going to see it's quite a thick document. It really has uh, two major components. One is the capital plan for equipment, um, which is a significant part of it. And the other part of it is a part, what we've done in the past, a facilities management plan that really looks in detail all the town buildings and make sure that the facilities are, we know exactly what has to be done to those buildings over the next six years. In fact, the facilities management plan that we did, uh, we were able to do it through a state grant through the Governor's Community Compact Program. And in fact, we have a 10-year program uh, looking at each of the town facilities, seeing what their needs are long into the future. That plan actually is much more detailed than the document that I have here tonight. So again, if you look on the town's website, you'll be able to look at that facilities management plan where you'll be able to see pictures of all the uh, needed repairs and stuff right on that site. So those two documents work well together. I'm going to briefly talk about pages one through three of this document, the six-year capital plan, is this year's 2018's fiscal uh, capital improvement plan uh, for this budget year. Pages 4 through 24 is the, the Municipal Facilities Evaluation Management Plan. And this is a summary in this document where you find the more detailed document on the website. Then pages 25 to 28, you're going to see the DPW, uh, essentially the five-year plan. We have the first year as part of free cash, and the rest will all be five-year plans, so a total of six years. Next, on pages 29 to 36, you're going to see all the equipment that is uh, put in the fire department's budget, so you're going to be looking at everything from a brush truck conversion in 2018 to a new ambulance in 2019 and 2023. So a whole list of different equipment uh, that was put together by the, the uh, fire chief to make sure that he has the equipment he needs to go along into the future. The police department will be on page 37, Department of Inspectional Services, page 38, Economic Development and Planning, page 39, Information Technology, 40, Jacob Edwards Library, 41, and Recreation, 42 and 43. I also want to start off by thanking all these department heads. They worked long and hard in trying to put together a long-term plan uh, that the town council will be able to use uh, to continue uh, to do its, uh, its, its required planning to figure out how we're going to allocate money long into the future to deal with these needs. Now, while the first year is more fixed in nature, uh, future years are going to be more variable. We don't know what's going to happen year to year. So these, but these capital plans are going to have to be flexible. And what we'll do is we'll add on the sixth year every year as we cycle through this process. I'm not going to go into every detail uh, of the capital plan. I do want to quickly focus, though, on this year's, because really, I think of everything, this is really real money that we're talking about this year. So I'm going to quickly go through just the names of the capital projects. And if people have questions, you can please uh, come up and ask those questions. I will say that a number of the department heads are here. Uh, particularly the school uh, system is here to answer questions, uh, DPW and others, if, if you do have any questions. But the, the general uh, fund uh, free cash that was certified this year was $2,696,571. That's really good because, as you recall, last year uh, we essentially uh, no longer used free cash for purposes of running the operating budget. So now that free cash is available for capital projects which is really, really good because that means we don't have to borrow money 
and then pay interest on that money into the future. So we're using essentially surplus money from last year to be able to buy things that we need long into the future without paying uh, any kind of interest on it. I'm gonna go through quickly just some key projects. Uh, demolition of blighted properties, it's something that we've been trying to do every year to get rid of these old buildings that are falling apart in town. We put some money aside for that, 150,000. Additional funds to repair roads. We wanna supplement by $200,000. Chapter 90 funds, we have a particular project, a wall repair, that uh, has to do with a road that we're trying to repair. There's a uh, truck, a 1977 Mack sander plower dump truck that is old and in need of replacement. So we're looking to replace that with a new truck. DPW building repair, we need to do some HVAC work in the DPW building to make sure that the building stays functional along into the future along with some electrical upgrade, upgrades. 25% design level support to ready for TIP. This is a major project that's downtown Hook, Hamilton Central Streets. We have an opportunity to get a serious grant from state government through what's called a TIP program. This is our percentage of the money that we have to put up. If we put up 25% of the project, uh, state government will put up the balance of that project and it's a very important long-term project, uh, project that deals with infrastructure in our community. Fire department, as many know, we have an old fire department. We need to do a feasibility study to look at the long-term needs of the department and what we're gonna do. The building is getting run down to a point that it's too expensive to fix, so we need to have a long-term plan for our future in the fire department. Fire truck, we're gonna be replacing two fire trucks uh, with a new fire truck. Uh, these trucks, I had an opportunity to go look at them personally. They're both very, very old, uh, and, and about 40 years old is one of them, uh, and the other one is, I think, 29 years old. So they're both very old vehicles. We're gonna eliminate two and replace it with one. This will deal emergency kind of truck where it'll have the jaws of life to come out with motor vehicles. The Southbridge School System is here tonight. Uh, we've been talking about Chromebooks. We're gonna to continue uh, to pay for a lease for Chromebooks into the future. There's also uh, some curriculum materials. Uh, technology is the, is the more Chromebook, uh, actually no, more technology and some Chromebook leases. If you have any questions, the, the uh, IT director is here tonight. Police department, we have to replace the fingerprinting scanning machine. It's very old, doesn't work anymore, so we need to replace that. And also, every year we try to buy at least two police cruisers, uh, one through free cash and one through the operating budget, so we'll be doing that. Inspection services, uh, town hall, the windows are all ancient. They're all, frankly, cold air is flying through the windows. Makes this build building very inefficient, uh, so we're looking to replace windows and make sure that this building stays secure into the future. Uh, Central Street parking lot, we're doing it in a two-year phase. Uh, that's the Central Street parking lot right behind that, the little retail store in the corner. Uh, it's old and beat up and it's time to replace that. And again, we're gonna use some CDBG money to supplement that as well. Our zoning district maps and bylaws are really, really old. Uh, it's been a subject of our master plan that we need to upgrade those and, and get those in place, uh, new plans. So that's also here in the budget. Uh, hire a consultant to submit application for an EPA townwide brownfields assessment grant. It's $15,000, but uh, it allows us to get up to $200,000 of uh, state money to check on locations that might have some brownfields issues, and we're talking about private locations. The idea is to try to get uh, old commercial property back on the books and, and usable. Uh, streetscape, uh, our master plan, we're looking at rebranding the town, getting all new signage downtown to upgrade the image of Southbridge and to make downtown look nicer and the entrances to town look nicer, all part of trying to create more economic development in the town. Recreation department, uh, the ice rink is my understanding has been pulled. Uh, we are not moving forward with the ice rink. Southbridge airport, window replacement at the diner. Again, the diner is very old and cold air is flying through the windows to make that more practical for our businesses. Uh, and people are gonna lease it to run a diner, we have to, to get the, the building secure uh, from the cold air. Uh, task, uh, repair of hangar, we have a hangar up there that's old and outdated. We got a bad tenant out of that building and the hangar doors and uh, insulation and other things is a problem. We wanna fix up that hangar so we can lease it back out and make it available to a particular tenant. Drug education funds is something that the uh, town manager's drug task force is working on. We are working with the state Department of Health and Addiction Services to develop a plan to educate people about the dangers of particularly opioid abuse, but any kind of substance abuse. So it is an issue that we want to continue to work on and the state is offering us technical assistance uh, and a great deal of future assistance uh, on this project as well. 
Another item in here that's under consideration is tablets for town council members. Uh, would kind of like the council members, if they can, to be paper free, so to speak. Uh, it's something the town council will look at. It's a small amount of money, but it would essentially allow all of our town council members to be able to get all the documents that they get without us having to print them all the time and make it easier for them to access information uh, and help them in the process. Uh, I want to say very clearly that uh, none of the decisions on any item on this free cash distribution has been approved yet. Uh, general Government uh, Councilwoman uh, Denise Clements will be leading efforts of the General Government Committee to review each of these. So if you have any comments about any items tonight and you don't want to talk about them tonight, uh, there will be one more opportunity at the General Government meeting uh, to discuss these issues. And then after that, it will come up to the Town Council for a full vote. The other information here, again, is... is 2019 out the rest of the years, more general in nature. We're not funding them right now, uh, and I'm not quite sure that we need to go through it. So it's a, a ton of information, but if you do have any questions on anything at this point, I'd be more than happy to answer questions. With that, I just say, would ask that if you come up, you can use our microphone. Just state your name uh, and address for, for record purposes, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Hope it wasn't too fast. Yep. So you mentioned general government. I'll bring it up. So, um, general government will be taking up these proposals and making recommendations to council on May 15th, Monday, May, Monday, May 15th um, at 6.30 in the veterans room. That meeting will be posted according to open meeting laws. Um, I would suggest that <coughs> citizens get involved and take a look at what we are proposing to spend your tax money on. Um, I would have liked to have heard the numbers. That would be my only critique on that. Mm -hmm. It would be to hear the numbers. Um, and everything was suggested, and the pulling of the rink is suggested. It's not, nothing has been finalized. Mm -hmm. So the reason you have a public hearing is so that um, we can get some input in the next couple of weeks from all of you, and uh, we can then bring it to council, and then council will decide on each item. So okay, just, just to be clear, I, I could have read the numbers. There's a lot here. I was trying to keep it short and sweet. But the numbers are on the town's website. As part of this document, you can see exactly how much goes to each document. Also, it's not on the website yet, but it will be probably tomorrow. Uh, the school system has also provided a six-year capital plan in a separate document. So that will also be available on our website as well. So if you have any questions about how the school committee plans on improving their capital items over next year, it's available as well. Any other questions on the capital improvement plan? All of our buildings are actually um, okay for people to get in. They're, they're functional for people with disabilities to get in. However, there, there's two things that we can use the money for. One is to, to look at, they do like a study to look at the long-term needs of the town as it relates to people with disabilities, but they also will consider recreation uh, parks as a place that we can use the money to improve a park so that children with disabilities can uh, get access to our park. So I, I've asked Steve Rosenfeld, our recreation director, to look at one of our parks to see if at least we could make one of them uh, and improve it with uh, handicap accessible equipment. So, you know, if we can apply for a grant and get uh, 100000 or something for to upgrade one of our town parks, I think that would be great. Can we use some of that money for, um, for sidewalks? For what? For sidewalks. Uh, I did, truth, I asked him a lot of questions about that money, but not for sidewalks. Uh, we might, uh, curb cuts, I think we might be yeah, able to. Some, I think like actually could be, yeah. Like curb cuts, I think, was one of the things that they did discuss with me. Helps. So, yeah, we'd look at it. And I got, I may have the letter right here in front of me. Um, I, I think we can Pretty find, if somebody gives us 100 grand, we'll find useful ways to improve the situation for disabled citizens. But I probably will be adding $10,000 to the document that goes to the General Government Committee just to, to make sure that we have something we can say we match to this. With that, Mr. Chairman, I think we can close the public hearing, and at 7 o'clock we'll be having the regular general uh, town council meeting. Thank you.